An interesting fact about where the word palladium came from, it was uh, deeply rooted in Greek and Roman mythology. I know the metal was actually named during the time that the um, asteroid palace was discovered in the 1800s, and that was um, named after the Greek goddess Pallas. Um, interesting fact, though, you know, palladium has always been considered a protector, and I consider it a protector of wealth, more so than silver in the long run. The fundamentals for palladium have every aspect that silver has except times many times the only thing it didn't function as money but we can make the argument that um, silver really not ha has not functioned as money either even though it was in our coinage it was in our coinage as a commodity it was not as money in, until way back in the 1800s I think the 1870s in Greek and Roman mythology a palladium was an image of a great antiquity on which the safety of a city was said to depend. The city of Troy, for example. Palladium especially signified the wooden statue of Pallas, Athena, that Odysseus and Domedes stole from the citadel of Troy, which was later taken to the future site of Rome by Aeneas. The Roman story is related to Virgil's Aeneid and other works. In English, since circa 1600, the word palladium has meant anything believed to provide protection or safety, a safeguard. And I do consider uh, this metal to be a safeguard of wealth more so than gold. It is a metal that is actually off the radar in a lot of ways because it is so widely used in, in industrial use. You could take this metal and store it within the catalytic converters of cars and you still have your wealth and uh, if the currencies the fiat go to oblivion this metals will still retain its wealth the Trojan palladium was said to be a wooden like image of Pallas whom the Greeks identified with Athena and the Romans with Minerva same God and to have fallen from heaven to answer to the prayers of Elis the founder of Troy so this was actually um, something that was vital to the um, protection of Troy. It was later kept in a temple of Vesta in a Roman forum for many centuries. It was actually moved to Rome. Later on it was moved from Rome to Constantinople by Constantine the Great and buried under the column of Constantine in his forum. Such a move would have undermined the primacy of Rome was naturally seen as a move by Constantine to legitimize his reign. I find this quite interesting because um, in a lot of ways I'm probably the only person that's in thinking out. Well, not the only person, but well, the few people that are thinking outside of the box about what metal fundamentally is probably going to protect your wealth more than any of them. Probably palladium. The major problem with it, it's not as liquid as silver. A lot of coin dealers probably aren't going to deal with this as readily. It doesn't have the recognizability from the masses, but consider this other side you know compare this to say real estate <laughs> could you make a transaction and get money for palladium faster than real estate yes you could you could immediately you could do it in the same day it would just be a matter of finding the right vendor for that day and making a trade but considering that palladium is actually far more rare than platinum and platinum is far more rare than gold Palladium, by all means, should be twice the price of gold, eventually. So if gold is the big savior of your wealth, palladium is actually the real protector of your wealth. And it's interesting that the word itself, if you're going back to mythology, it was the protector. It meant protection and safety. It was a safeguard. That's what the word itself meant. It was a safeguard to the citadel of Troy. It was a safeguard for Rome for many years, and then it became a safeguard to Constantinople. The word itself actually has a um, great significant connotation, and um, I think this is the protection of wealth. This probably is the safety. This is the thing that most are ignoring. And actually, if most people bought one ounce of palladium, <laughs> People could actually drive the price of this metal up very high, very high, unlike silver. Although silver is not a bad investment, 
I actually got, I actually have a stronger feeling and about palladium than silver in the long run. It's just that it doesn't have the advertising campaign out there. But fundamentally, the fundamentals are a hell of a lot stronger for palladium than silver. And certainly more so than gold by far.